Hey guys, good morning. So we are now in standard Pro V8i lesson. So first of the many lessons that I will be giving you. Uh, so we are now uh, going to uh, create a ground floor frame geometry uh, using very simple tools first, and then we create uh, some more uh, geometry using advanced. Uh, uh, drawing and editing techniques and so we first we select a new project here simply click new project and then space so we can add a title later uh, so we have the length units in meter and in kilonewton it's a default uh, unit so finish okay, so we can now start our, our creation of the model uh, by first uh, closing the snap mode being uh, dialog box and uh, from this uh, tools here, so many, a lot of many, many commands here in start. A lot of uh, commands can be used, uh, but uh, we, I prefer to teach you the most uh, simple and the powerful commands. The first uh, thing we have to do is to create a a dot or a point or a node of the, of the origin. Okay, so that is the first node at the origin. And we can select that node and create a simple uh, column by using uh, uh, the translational repeat command at the y direction with one step. Okay, simply type the uh, distance 1.5 uh, and then uh, click link steps and then OK. So we have our first column here. We can uh, select that column by using the beams cursor. We switch to a uh, selection cursor the beam and uh, generate it at the z direction uh, three times okay so we can generate it three times uh, the distance of, by the way uh, I'm using this plan as a guide okay for such ground uh, floor framing a plan that we are going to model right? so uh, from time to time we will be looking at the distances there to check uh, whether or not we are actually uh, doing an accurate uh, modeling of the uh, frame. Okay? So we type 4.25 at the middle, uh, we edit it to 3.75, we link the steps, and then we open the base. Don't forget to click the open base there, and then we have the first uh, frame that we have. And let's select the end columns here. That's actually column uh, 1 and 7. We can uh, make this visible by simply uh, clicking Shift B. Okay. And then uh, we simply use again the, uh, the translational repeat command at the X direction. Okay. Uh, we repeat it 7 times, uh, 4.25. But at the middle, uh, it's uh, just 4.5. Okay, so it's, we I simply added the, the part which we don't have the same space in the step uh, given in this uh, uh, figure here. So this uh, uh, number four step is actually 4.5. Okay, so then we click the link steps again on the open base to get this one. Okay, so it's just like uh, repeating the the command time and again okay so we can copy these uh, uh, members here uh, to create uh, the same members there at the, uh, the end by using a translation of repeat uh, at the x direction so we simply type 30 and then uh, link steps okay don't, don't don't link the steps here it's a no no because we only want to copy this and don't create a beam out of these nodes here okay so we simply click ok and there you have it so we have basically the three-dimensional frame uh, which uh, basically looks this one, the same as this one okay okay so next is we create again or generate again these two columns uh, to represent the middle columns uh, at the x direction so we generate it twice at a distance of 2.15 and, and 25.5 okay so we don't have to link the steps again and there we have it there and also these columns we need to generate them as well 
uh, need to generate this uh, them as well uh, in this direction okay so what we're going to do is to uh, to again use the translation repeat command and uh, at the same direction we we generate it three times okay first is at 2.25 the second is at uh, a three point uh, no, 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 it's at one point eight seven five and third is also one point eight seven five. Okay, instead it's one point eighty eight, but uh, it's not accurate because it's only for two decimal places. Okay, so this is uh, 2.95 this is uh, 3.8 I'm sorry okay so there's an error here uh, this must be 3.875 okay. 3.875 okay. okay so this is 3.875 okay. so uh, link steps open base so we now get this one here okay and then we simply connect this part later by using the add beam commands okay okay so the next thing we have to do is uh, simply make this an add beam and then simply connect this okay and also we can uh, make use of uh, this admin command connects okay okay at the end there's no node here so we need to to use the add beam perpendicular okay to add this and a perpendicular point along this edge simply click it there and then it's one and that's it so basically have these beams here and then we try to copy it on this uh, part of the node to to uh, make this appear the same as this one here okay so we have to select first these beams okay? and then we use the translation repeat command of the z direction so we have one, two steps involved at uh, 3.875 uh, distance, okay? So it's a 3.875 distance, uh, no leg steps, so good, so there you are. Okay, so we're actually uh, becoming very close to our model here, okay, so we only need uh, some beams here to complete no? the model so we can make use of uh, okay uh, we can make use of the add beam perpendicular command here okay so make it and then copy this or we can actually do the add beam here but uh, we can uh, just copy this uh, by measuring the distance from here to there yeah, so it's 25.5 so we have here the x distance 1 we simply type 25.5 and no leak steps okay so that's it so we're finished okay so for using the, the view from top or view from passive one so basically your model here is the same your model okay so that's how to create the uh, ground floor framing plan or the ground level framing plan and uh, we will continue this session uh, but for now so this is the uh, tutorial that I want you to uh, make use of in order to uh, uh, create this model okay bye for now